Another question that I get a lot is how to manifest a boyfriend. And um, and today we're going to share five ways to do that. I'm Hani. I am a transformational coach who is a, an advanced energy practitioner that clears up any blocks, any triggers, any traumas, anything that's in your way to create the best possible juiciest relationships, business relationship, and leadership in your life. And so today, let's talk about how manifesting a boyfriend is actually not that difficult and how we can navigate that and create the best possible outcome when you put your attention and your focus into this area in a playful manner so that it's light and it brings you joy and it brings you growth as well. So the first way is to see it as as a way to enjoy being yourself what would be what would it be like if you had a connection that just made you feel so fulfilled and just show up that way so the more clear that you are in showing up as yourself as light as joy or in whatever way and form and shape that you are at in the moment authentically that is incredibly supportive to create whatever it is that is going to attract them. Authenticity, vulnerability, these are all things that you can experience and you can just simply hold the intention of deeply connecting in an open way. And the more you are clear with showing up as you, the easier it is to find a match that vibes with who you really are. Even if you're uncomfortable at the moment, you're stressed out, there's something that's bothering you, you can always do a meditation, check out any of the meditations on this channel, a clearing, an energy clean, so that your energy can be really clear so that your essence can really be out there. The more your essence is there, the easier it is to find match to your essence. And number two, have fun finding the compatibility in your match. In the way that you communicate, you can get really clear on what is compatible with you in terms of emotional compatibility, physical compatibility, lifestyle compatibility, financial compatibility, and be able to communicate that with a smile on your face, a lightness, no expectations, no judgment, no pressure. And being able to share that and ask that in a very open, easy way allows both of you to experience that possibility if the conversation goes that way and knowing also what is compatible with you is really really special because that allows you to have more focus in where you put your attention and when you have more focus on where you put your attention it's easier to create that opportunity to come through and so getting clear on that, you can download one of our change documents, transition changes, which gets you really clear on your goal and or clear on what you want. And then when you know that, then it's easier for you to recognize that too. And when you embody that knowing, it's so miraculous how different people will show up in your life and you would find different qualities of compatibility in different people. And, um, and just go for it, go for it and be open-minded and see if both of you have the desire and the consent to take the next step to investigate and further develop your connection. Number three, have fun taking care of all the healing and the changes that you've had up until this moment. If you have loved before and you've had, if you had heartbreaks, if you had traumas, if you had things that really brought you down and put you in a place of pain and hurt, take this opportunity to really go through them and heal them and know that you have moved past them. And even if you haven't, there are ways to allow that to soothe and know that you're stronger right now. You're more empowered and you're wiser and that you can take care of them. Letting things that have you trust less, um, having those abilities to take care of them and be compassionate, gentle, and kind to them allows you to show up in a different way that allows you to be open again for love. If love is one of the qualities that you look for in a boyfriend and allow yourself to tune into the version of you that has the most understanding, joy, safety, fun, ability to connect with another person, discover something fun, discover something special, discover something enjoyable, and have the confidence to know that each new connection has its 
own flow and own creation. Have the ability to jump in if you desire, if you feel that it is safe and if you can trust it. And then also have the confidence that you can always change your mind. Which brings us to number five, quick goodbyes and deep hellos which is committing to really showing up as yourself, as you, and giving your best shot, and then trusting your intuition, trusting your discernment, trusting the bigger part of yourself that can see the full picture to know when it's not a match. So give all of yourself when you want to, and you feel safe to, and then when you decide that, hey, you know what, it's actually not a match anymore, and recognizing also when that voice or when that red flag is a avoidant tendency or an anxious tendency, meaning a tendency that is decided by fear or is it decided by wisdom? And if it's decided by fear, then you can heal that and see what the wisdom says. And when your inner wisdom says, you know what, this is something that we can take forward or this there is a limit to this connection, then listen to that and quickly close the energy that you're putting into it or adjust it to its appropriate and accurate amounts and then move on. And the more you can do this with no drama, no pain, no stress, no pressure, the easier it is to create the flow of connection with the other person and invite them or be invited or co-create and co-decide to discover this relationship further. The more you do this, the more open you are, the more you heal, the more you grow, the more clear you are, the easier you're communicating, the easier it is to create an opportunity for a genuinely fun, enjoyable, relationship with a boyfriend with a deeper lover a partner and I hope that you can take any of these or all of these and integrate it into your life so that you can create a relationship that is really juicy and desirable for you this is Hani and I look forward to hearing from you what you created from this and I have some links below as well for you to get some resources on getting clarity, clearing out blocks to your transition. So transition into the relationship. So look at the worksheet in the context of creating the boyfriend that you want. Talk to you soon.